turn on the torch, light up the flames, time to melt some glass, my friends. There you are, up there. Well, I point in that direction. There you are, and over here, here I am, <laughs> to explain, to teach, and create again. What I plan on doing is kind of crazy, but it's going to be a little bit on the fun side, too. It's that time of year. Spring has sprung. Sap is running. You know that old, uh, here come Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bully trail. Okay, you know and I know, I am not a singer. That's why I'm a glass bar, right? Okay. <laughs> okay, basically, I have got some star white that I've encased with, of all things, um, uh, with star blue stardust. It's a very light color. Uh, it almost looks like it does look like this exactly. And I don't know if you can see those sparkly, glittery shines going on there or not. But that's why I like that color. Um, I also like the green, heavy blue, uh, heavy blue leprechaun, and and the other colors that the blue, heavy blue stardust itself. Uh, but today we're going to make an Easter egg, and we're going to use um, some UV reactive colors. <coughs> Excuse me, yelling, and I shouldn't. But we're giving it to try anyway. Um, first of all, I've got moon blue. No, I've got lunar blue. I think, no, no, but it's a UV reactive color, and I've also added blue stardust over it. And we're going to do about four, three or four stripes down this rod. There's two. This is four. Okay. Now, I also have some Illuminati with blue stardust over it. And I'm going to do the same thing. Layer it between the grooves of where I just put the other stuff. And I, you know what I'm going to do? Just so that you can see the colors a little bit more, where they're going and what's going on. I'm going to give one color. Let me see if I've got some on my... No, not that one. No, not that one either. No, not that one either. Darn it. When you really, really want color. Oh, this will do it. I'll have to stretch it really quick. This has got blue stardust in it also. Um, I think this has got heavy blue stardust in it. And it was done on to, uh, I want to say, uh, uh, anyway, heavy blue color. Sorry, my... my mind is going first let's just put it that way I don't need that much I'm only going to use probably that much of a strand going on so that's good and this is so that you can see the other effect that I'm going to be doing I'm going to be doing a wigwag pattern throughout the piece this is so that you can keep track with what's going on with the wigwag pattern that's probably with my luck going over the Luna or the uh, Illuminati, but it'll be okay. Now, here we go. First of all, I'm going to bring down to a single flame, which will make just a whole lot of heavy more detail going on. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. I'm going to heat it up and twist it. Now I'm going to go down. And this does so much easier when you're doing a solid piece instead of with uh, in, a, in a tubing. And twist it back. And then go down. Heat it again. And twist it in the other direction. See there? Wig and wag and wig and wag. Heat and twist. Heat and twist. Now... There's your egg. Wait, it doesn't look like a shape of an egg, does it? 
We're going to have to work on that, aren't we? Well, that's what the marble mold helps with. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. I'll go ahead and... Uh, it's probably going to be... There we go. That's going to be a good size for the bottom size of the egg. Matter of fact, I'm going to roll it a little bit here. And you can see the swirls and patterns going on, I believe, if you can't. Oh, it's too... That's one thing I hate about... There it goes. You can really see this, the wig-wag patterns going on. Sweet. Okay. Now I'm going to put a cold weld here at the bottom of this egg. You can already see the round part of the egg going on here. Right? Right. Right. Catch it too. And I'm going to go just and swirl that off. There we go. Get it back going the other way and swirl it all off. And round that in. Now when you want it to be more rounded into the body of itself, you tilt it back down to this direction. When you want it to be more of a teardrop and go away from you, you, you let gravity work with you there is what I'm talking about. Okay. It's almost to where I want it. It's getting there. There we go. I'm going to, I don't know if you if that's on view or not. Yeah, it, it's just a little out of view. Dang it. Let's try to. There we go. Inside the Marver, the L Marver that's on top of the Carlisle here. I am just uh, conical shaping that slightly. I'm going to do just a little bit more. And I also want to make the body of the thing a little bit more round. So with that, I got to put a cold weld at top again and I want to yeah, this is an egg shape, of course, but I want it to be more of not just a jelly bean looking shape, but a nice egg looking shape. It's my perfection going on here. I'm sorry. And you can see I'm tilting it down and that that ball or, or what was more uh, narrow and oval is now rounding in to make a nice ball. That's the way I wanted it. And with that, let it cool down and I'll show you. I'll tap and fire polish that off. There it goes to where you can see the colors. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's got a nice sparkly glittery going on all over the place on that thing. That's pretty. Okay. That's not the best thing to do, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> I just turned on my oven, so I don't think I'm going to have to worry too much about reaching in there and putting this thing in there. But there you go. And we got one Easter egg. Ready to hatch for Easter, right? <laughs> and uh, with that, I'll show you, I think I got one in this little pile of all the cool stuff that I've been doing. I just love the way I treat my glass, just kick it around. Oh, this one's UV reactive. We'll show you that one off. And where's the egg? Oh, darn. I, I thought I put it in there. Is that it? Is that it? That, that's it. That's it. Ah, aha. Okay. This has just... Illuminati in it. No, I, I it didn't want to show up. Interesting. No, that didn't have any of it in there. Oh, darn. I thought it did. It just had some nice colors. Oh, that's what it had in it. It didn't have the Illuminati. It had the the uh, the sparkly glittery going on throughout the whole thing, which is pretty cool as it is. Sorry about that, folks. Thought I did with one with Illuminati, but I have now. 
Thanks for being. Oh, show off this little baby. This also has a lot of like blue lep uh, heavy blue leprechaun in it and some other colors. And then a lot of glitter. You can see that going on. And then, and then, and then it has a lot of Illuminati in it. Sweet little marble. Thank you guys for being there. And as always, Carpe Vitro. And enjoy your day.